here we are from last time. We have a ball object and we can swipe and have it move based on our swipe. It would be nice to add something that would make the ball get a little bit slower over time, something like friction. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing is I want my x speed and my y speed to be able to be smaller than 1. 1 is actually a pretty fast x and y speed. So if they're going to be smaller than 1, I'm going to need to change all these variables to be doubles. Now the problem with that is down here the ellipse can only draw at integer coordinates. So we will cast these to be integers right where we draw them. But the whole rest of the time, we're going to treat them as if they're doubles. All right, how is this going to help us? Well, let's start by doing this. Here where we are adding in the velocity due to our mouse swipe, let's divide by 20.0. Oops. Oh, and I guess that's fine. Um, because this is uh, actual division. When it was just 20, we were doing integer division, so it was already rounding. And now let's do this. After we move the ball, let's make the x speed a little bit smaller. So I'll say x speed equals x speed times 0 0.97. And y speed equals y speed times 0 0.97. What this is doing is I'm saying, at every single time step, make the, make the x speed be 97% of what it used to be. So that's going to make it slower and slower and slower. Um, let's just run this. So when I swipe, you see it slows down. It slows down pretty dramatically. Maybe that's good, but maybe I want it to slow down a little less fast. I could make it slow down a little less fast if I made this like 9.8 or even 9.9. Nine. The other thing I'm noticing is that when I run it, it slows from going like really fast to kind of slow very quickly, but then it takes a long time to stop completely. Like it's still even going a little tiny bit. And that seems irritating to me. So I want to say something like this. If it's going really slowly, just stop it already. So I could say something like this. If x speed is smaller than something that seems pretty slow, let's set the x speed to be 0. Same thing for the y speed. Let's see what happens when we run it. If I swipe this way, oh, weird. So if I swipe this way, it seems to be working OK. But then when I swipe this way, it just stops immediately. Let's think about why should that be. What's special about swiping this way that's different than swiping this way? Let's see. If I'm swiping this way, it must be that my x and y velocities are, hmm, it looks like they're negative. Aha. And what I'm saying here is if it's less than a slow speed, make it 0. But if I'm going to the left, that's a negative x speed. So I'm just automatically setting it to 0 every time. So what I really wanted to say was not, is the x speed smaller than 0.3? I wanted to know, is the absolute value of the x speed smaller than 3? Oh, that is not a thing. Math.absolute value. Because I want to know, even if it's going in a negative direction, is it going in the negative direction slowly, or is it going in the positive direction slowly? So math.absolute value is giving me the magnitude, and that's what I want to know. Is the magnitude small? OK, so this should work now. I can swipe it this way, and there it stops when it's supposed to stop. So that's pretty good. Now on the basis of this, you can make a game where you can set up a target and try and make them bounce it off the wall a certain number of times before you hit the target. You could set up a bunch of targets and see if you can get them in sequence. Um, there's a lot of neat stuff you can do with this. Enjoy.